This episode of Soji Knows Best is brought to you by Dollar Shave Club. Hey, what's up guys, Soji Knows Best here. Google I.O. 2014 is underway, and this is Google's opportunity to show you everything they've been working on and all the new stuff that's gonna be coming out in the next year or so. And so Google has been working on a lot of stuff with Android, and that was the main focus of this kickoff event today. Now, the first part of Android that they talked about was Android L. This is gonna be the new operating system for cell phones and tablets. And Android L is bringing some new features, but the main thing going on with this new version of Android is all about about design. Google introduced us to material design and this is a new look for Android. And it's gonna be giving things a more material feel and things that you find in the real world like paper and pen. And all these different things will be kind of integrated into this operating system. And so the OS is not necessarily gonna take on the look of all these physical objects, but things will start to flow and move and react like they would in the real world. And as you swipe through different notifications or you swipe and do different apps and moving within panels and tabs on buttons you'll see ripple effects and of course you'll see shadows and you'll see things going on with the OS that just makes things feel a little bit more uniform and also flow a little bit more freely and system-wide everything is getting this new flavor of material design from Gmail to the dialer and also the keyboard and I'm really liking it I mean everything seems to be really fine-tuned it seems that like Google really spent a lot of time working on this new interface and when it comes to new features in Android L you will be getting drop-down notifications so if somebody sends you a text message it'll pop up at the top of the screen and you can choose to accept or decline it right then and there. And also you will be getting interactive notifications on the lock screen now. Now another new feature in Android L is called personal unlocking. And this means that if I'm wearing a Bluetooth smartwatch on my wrist and I'm using my cell phone, it won't present me with an unlock screen if I wanna go ahead and unlock it because it knows that's me because both devices are very close proximity to each other. But if I wasn't wearing the watch or the watch was in another room, it will present me with a security screen. So something that just makes your life a little bit easier not having to enter in your lock screen because your phone knows it is you that is using it. And there's some more little individual features that you're gonna be getting with Android L, but again, the big thing with this is going to be the new design. And this material design is gonna be spread across Google on different platforms from the web and other stuff. So we're gonna see this new look is gonna come out in the fall. Developers will start to get code and beta starting today, but I'm really excited for what material design is gonna look like on a final product. Also, if you wanna get a sense of how material design functions on Android L, there's a website, and I'll leave the link down in the description box, where you can actually try out this quiz application and test out your but also to just see how material design is actually going to flow compared to how Android is today. Now, I have to admit, while I was watching the keynote, I was watching everybody's wrist because it seemed like everybody had some new watch that was running Android Wear. And this is probably my favorite part of the entire keynote because I was really interested to see Android Wear and how complete it is. And so Android Wear is basically Google Now for your wrist. And it's gonna give you notifications in the card format. Um, so say your flight is on time, it'll let you know. Um, or if you get a text message or you wanna do a reminder, you can actually talk into these watches. They have built-in microphones. And it just become a part of you you and your cell phone and just eliminates you having to take your cell phone out for every single thing. And it showed off some nifty things with Android where I think one example was that you can actually order a pizza from your wrist. So if you ordered a pizza using a particular app, it'll actually notice that and maybe that same time next week, it'll kind of give you a little heads up, say, hey, do you want to buy a pizza? And you can choose to order it right through your watch. Or my favorite was actually ordering a Lyft ride using your watch. So I think they said just, hey, get me a car and the watch automatically found its GPS location. Um, use the Lyft app and ask for a car to come to your location to pick you up. And again, all this is done just by you saying a couple words and putting your hand down, not having to pull and reach your phone out of your pocket. Now the first three watches that are gonna be running Android Wear are coming from the three major players in Android, LG, Samsung, and Motorola. And LG is gonna be releasing their G2 watch, which will retail for about $230. And Samsung is gonna be releasing their Samsung Gear Live watch for about 200 bucks. And both of these watches will be available for pre-order today on Google's Play Store. And the one watch that everybody's looking forward to is the Moto 360, of course, coming from Motorola. And this watch has no release date. It's just gonna be coming out later on in the summer, and it has no price point just yet but I would tell you this is easily the sexiest watch out of the three and maybe one of the sexiest watches of all time and the main thing with the Moto 360 is that it does have that circular watch face where the LG and the Samsung have these square watch faces but either way I'm looking forward to all three of these watches and I really can't wait to start using them. Alright so there's a few more things I want to talk about that were announced at Google I.O but before I do it's going to take one last look at our sponsor for this video. Now shaving can often be a hassle but Dollar Shave Club has your back with good 
quality, affordable razors that can ship directly to your doorstep. So these razors are just as good as all these other big shave companies out there. And especially if you use Dr. Carver's Easy Shave Butter, which you can get from the Dollar Shave Club, it'll create a nice smooth foundation for your razor to glide across your skin. Then also when you get done doing your business, you know what I'm talking about. You can use their one wipe Charlies to make sure you remain fresh as possible. So go to dollarshaveclub.com forward slash soldier to check out all these cool products. Again, it's dollarshaveclub.com forward slash soldier. Now, some other things that they talked about was Android Auto is basically going to be something similar to CarPlay that Apple was releasing. Now, it's basically going to be bringing Android to your dash, and they already have a lot of manufacturers on board with it, and you will start to see cars running it by the end of this year. And also, too, with Chromecast, one of my favorite devices of 2013, you'll now be able to stream or actually broadcast whatever is on your phone display to your Chromecast. You can kind of mirror whatever you're doing on your phone over to your big screen, which is nice. Then one of the last things they talked about was Android TV. And Android TV is basically bringing some of that material design to your big screen. Um, and also too, I do really do like the interface and you have the ability to play games. They have a number of different games uh, you can run with it. But I wasn't too excited for it because I feel like I already have a lot of different devices from my Xbox, PlayStation, Roku, Apple TV. There's a ton of different devices on the market right now that you may already own that can do most of what Android TV can do. But there's still a couple of things that are kind of unique to it that I think a lot of people may like. But other than that, guys, I'm not going to keep this video going on too long. Just really wanted to touch on the two major things, Android L and Android Wear. But everything I talked about in this video, leave your comment down below and let me know what you think. And also when those watches come available to pre-order, I'll leave a link down in the description box so you can go ahead and get one of those before everybody else because I'm pretty sure they will sell out. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching this video and I will catch you later. Peace. More importantly, perhaps, they take around 93 million selfies every day. The team tells me about 31 million of these are duck faces. <laughs>